Good morning and welcome. You know, <clears throat> I got to talk about a show that is my religion to the core. In fact, it's one of the things I, it's one of the shows that I looked up to since it came out in the summer of 2010. And around that time, it was Sucky Ray Peer Engagement and the other one was Cat Planet Cuties. But other than that, on my description, I said about not only I'm a Naruto fan, but I'm a diehard fan of this show. Yes, High School of the Dead. Let me tell you, if me personally, High School of the Dead is one of the greatest animes of all time. In fact, to me, not only to me is one of the greatest animes of the decade, but to, but to me it's also one of the greatest, like it's on the list of one of the greatest animes of all time and the horror as well. And while nobody don't agree with it or not, you have to understand, people like High School of the Dead fans like myself, we love this show to the core. Now, we get it. There are all other zombies, zombie shows out there, like Gakokurashi or Senkira Undying Love or Kaminari the Iron Fortress. I get all of that. And we have play zombie games too, like the Resident Evil series. Or we watch shows like AMC's The Walking Dead. But High School of the Dead was a zombie galore. Like, literally, zombie in a shell that says, you know what? I love this show. In fact, I'm not talking about a fan. Look, a fan of High School of the Dead here. In fact, look at this. DVD set and volumes of High School of the Dead. Volumes. And that's just saying, oh, and that's just saying something here too, look. And that's just saying something. But, High School of Dead is my religion, and it is. So in this review of High School of the Dead, I want to get back to my roots. So for those of you who don't know High School of the Dead, which y'all should, here's, here's my review. So High School of the Dead has all the elements to a zombie apocalypse. What makes a zombie apocalypse anime? Of course, zombies, the characters, characters' point of view outside the world of the zombie apocalypse, and people do crazy shit. Most commonly. Now, it starts off with like a bloom, cherry blossom blooming, and zombies come out of nowhere. Out of, throughout, out of nowhere. And we see our boy, my hero, Takashi, Ray. Ray, who's a thought at some time, you know, you're gonna like her, Ray. And then you got Hasashi, Takashi's best friend, as they run towards the roof. And it gives us, I like how the first episode start, start off with those three running to the, to the roof. And then we get to the episode one and we see how it all turns out. We, it all turns out like what made them go to the roof. And it showed Takashi being down, being sad like always. Because him and Ray used to be like pinky promise. But then all of a sudden things happened in high school and she broke up with him and she, she and Ray is going out with Hasashi with his Takashi's best friend. See, thought no less. Now, as he looked outside, he see a person trying to break into the school. But he didn't know that was a zombie. But as soon as that zombie bite, bit the teacher, and then the teacher bit this female teacher, he started running to get everybody out the way. But a slap. Let me tell you about the slap. I, it's one of the greatest slaps ever. The moment Takashi slapped Ray in the face. The moment he slapped Ray in the face. That is the most iconic slap I have ever seen. In fact, if we look at one of the best, if we look at one of the top 10 slaps in anime, you can't read, you can't lie. You can't lie. <laughs> Takashi slapping Ray was one of the best ones ever. And then as soon as that happened, here comes a riot. Everybody's bumping and pushing, breaking and kicking and all that stuff just to get out of school. Others died. Others committed suicide. Others went to that psychological state saying, Mommy, is that you? And then get, by, get bit by a zombie. Those are the most common things. Now, along the way, they meet their first zombie, Takashi, Ray, and Sashi, trying to get to the roof. They encounter their first zombie, and this zombie was gonna fight, like, really, really fight. I mean, he's strong. Zombies, no, known for that. But the fact that Ray, so stupid to stab a zombie in the chest, did you really think that was gonna work? No, that wasn't gonna work. And then Hasashi grabbing the zombie by the neck. I'm not you stupid. And then Takashi saved his life by hitting the zombie in the back, but it was too late. He got bitten. But my point is, see, the thing about High School of the Dead, 
is that you learn what to do and what not to do in the zombie apocalypse. First of all, why would you stab a zombie in the chest? That ain't gonna work. A stab in the chest ain't gonna work. Everybody knows, most commonly known, when it comes to zombies, the most thing is shoot them in the head. Aim for the head. That is it. But, no, oh, you're gonna stab in the chest many times. No, 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 no. That's how stupid. Well, aside from that, they got into the roof and seeing how Shashi get in bed and turning, he had no choice because she had no choice. And that leave Ray, like, so mean. Like, you wanted me to do this. You you were jealous, all that stuff. I'm like, this ain't the time. It ain't about jealousy. You can't find your safety. Now, along the way, once Takashi and, and Ray, you know, come together, join forces, they met other survivors along the way of the school. For instance, you got Hirona. Hirona, a badass Hirono, a badass otaku with a weapon fetish. This, this chubby dude know his ways around the guns. In fact, not only he knows his way around the guns, he is familiar with every single gun. And that one of the best things I've seen when he does is that he, when he he makes a nail gun from scratch, he makes a nail gun and starts shooting zombies with it. With it, that guy is a straight weapon o, op, weapon specialist op. Then you got Saiko, you got the girl, you got the president of the Candle Club, you got Saiko, the girl who is the Michonne of the group. The girl who could take down a zombie with a sword, who could dodge a bullet with two. Which, one of the most anime logic ever. Like, when I remember still to this day, when Takashi sh shot a zombie, trying to shoot a zombie in the head. Her matrix, boom, the matrix. <laughs> her bullet go between her boobs and kill a zombie. That is the most anime logic ever. And that still is one of the best ones still to this day. But again, Saiko. Now, along the way, you meet Takagi. The pink hair, brain... The Smart of the group, the smart one of the group, who's daughter, the daughter of an influential politician, smart wife, and her parents are there. Her mom was looking. And then you got Miss Shizuka, the airhead but hot nurse. Yes, I really like Miss Shizuka, the hothead nurse, which is good. I mean, one of the episodes I remember was like, when she was running, Saiko ripped her clothes off. She said, and Saiko asked her, Your clothes or your life? She said, Both. I'm like, Really? Your clothes are your life. You said both. Really? I don't know. This girl got it. I mean, I know she's funny and all that. I know people have a thing for the airheads, but come on. In the zombie apocalypse, you care about your clothes than your life. But you said both, so nice turnaround. And along the way, they meet other two survivors along with they with so with with Saiko, Takashi, Ray, uh, Takagi, Arona, Mitsuzuka. Okay, that's the group. Along the way, as they go through the hordes of zombies, we may, they meet other people along the way. For instance, Alice. Oh, the little girl, Alice. Oh, man. And it was sad to see, like, the thing about Alice is that it's very sad to see her father dead right in front of her. I mean, right in front of her. Like, the moment they open the door, boom, knife, stab right into the father, right into Alice's dad. And Alice had to see her die. That is so freaking sad. And then you got Zeke, that little dog Zeke. You know, he's adorable for a dog. Zeke is very good. I sure wish we meet the owner soon if they get to that point. But my point is, it's, it, yeah. But other than that, High School of the Dead, not only Takashi and the others survive zombies, they're facing other people in these psychological ways. For instance, in the gas station, this guy was going crazy all because he wants the motorcycle that Takashi and Ray have. And he was groping Ray, um... Ray, but then he shot him. Then he shot the mechanic. I mean, shot the this thug, and then leave him, leave him dead for the zombies. Which is smart, though. That's a good thing. I would do that. And then they meet Ray's former teacher, who's seducing people for power, like some kind of politician guy who's going to tell the world this and that, and trying to control all the students in a sexual desire desirable way. See, the thing about High School of the Dead is you have to watch it as just not a not an edginess. Sure, I had some edgy moments with a, with a few boob shots, panty shots, and them in the bath, girls in the bath. But other than that, you have to watch High School of the Dead as a zombie perspective person. Like, what what they do, like, what other, like, the world of zombie apocalypse. You've seen people do some crazy shit. Trying to control people, trying to 
uh, lie to people just to get ahead of others, that kind of thing. Like, one of the scenes, and he, he even had some sad moments, like, a sad moment. Like, one of them was, like, oh, this side, this, you might know this, this side character was running, and he had his, and the zombie grabbed him, and then the other girl, she ran to, to die with him. So it's like being the one you want to love, so you die with him, you see? And there are some dick moves. There are some dick moves. Like, I still remember one of the dick moves where you had two best friends. It's like, oh, yeah, we'd be best friends forever. If you stay with me, we're best friends. We'll be doing this again. And then she kicked, and then the zombie got her. She's like, let go, bitch, and kicked her. He kicked her, left her for dead, and then karma's a bitch because when she stepped back, zombies got her. So I'm like, that's what you get for leaving your best friend hanging. And then you got a teacher who committed suicide. Oh, that. And I said, now back to what I was saying. High School of the Dead does have its elements of a zombie apocalypse. You learn the society out there that's going on in a zombie apocalyptic world that they're facing. That's why I like about this show. Not about the fan service, but the actions, the consequences, the, the rights and wrongs of what not to do in the apocalyptic world of zombies. That's what I like about this show. There's nothing wrong with that, and not one thing says about it that says, you know what, this show so sucks. I have no problem with that. It leads to romance at times with Takashi with Ray, or Takashi and Saiko at moments. I have those moments. But Harona got her mo got his shining moments. Takaki got her shining moments. Every character in High School Dead has their shining moments, and that's what I like about that as well. Now, here's the thing. I understand Daisuke Sato, the creator of High School Dead, passed away on March to, uh, March of 2017 with the heart disease and they did an interview with the the drawer saying that is it gonna be a season two apparently he can't because the thing is he doesn't have this is me saying this person by reading it he doesn't have the knowledge to do it if he had the knowledge we could get better but he's not sure how he's gonna how how it's gonna go around that route like, for example, he might make an episode where Takeshi get bitten and become a zombie, and then Ray, Ray hangs herself. You know what I mean? He does, that's not the idea he wanted. So, he, in other words, we, we could have gotten a high school that season two, but it's the knowledge of how we're going to get it. It's the knowledge of how, how the episode can go on, and it doesn't have that kind of thing for it. Now, I get it. We need a season two. The way how it ends was... A cliffhanger, like, I'm sure they got the OVA, but the part is, they got to the part when they got to the mall, and I was hoping we would get a season two about them in the mall, because that was a sad moment for Hirano, and I'm telling you why. I mean, I can't tell you why, but that was a sad moment, but it has to be done. But High School Dead, I've learned so much about this show. It's, it's my religious show ever, because you like horror. I like zombies. I like the characters in this one because each character has his own special skills in this. And that's what makes... And, and seeing how the world is fitting right now and seeing how it's all zombies, like how people take... How people do this and that or in any scenarios and when it comes to society with people and zombies, you know, you learn a lot from it. And that's why I said High School to Dead is one of the greatest animes of all time. It is still, to me, one of the greatest. So thank you for watching my review of High School of the Dead. I really, really wanted to talk about this because it was my religion, and it still is to this day. So thank you for watching my review. Now next week is going to be my top ten harem, my top ten harem animes. And I got to look back on all the history of my harem animes because there are a lot. But I will give you my top ten sooner or later. So thank you for watching.